I'm a young fellow that thinks it far best to take things in good time and so. Last winter as I felt decidedly queer, I thought to the doctor's I'd go. I sat down, he felt my first pardon, my pulse. No sleep for a fortnight I'd had. He looked at my tongue, brrr, and he murmured, no hope. Poor young fella, you're awfully bad. You had better get straight into bed. You've been worrying, that's what it is. I can see by your face that you're easily led, and habits like that would turn anyone's head. Your heart and your brains, they've both disappeared. You've been tying your garters too tight. But take this visit tomorrow if you are still alive. I said, thanks, I shall sleep well tonight. I was never a sailor, but some time ago, I went for a sail on the sea. We hadn't seen land for a fortnight or more when we struck on a rock near me. It was blowing a gale and the boats had all gone. The crew seemed resigned to their fate. So I asked the captain the best thing to do. And he said, as it's getting quite late, you'd better get straight into bed. The sea's just as rough as can be. The ten foot of water is yet in the hole. And the pumps are all broken to pieces, I'm told. But you'd better get all the rest that you can. You'll need all your strength at daylight. There's a thousand mile swim staring you in the face. I said, thanks, I shall sleep well tonight. By Chief Cook's excursion, I traveled one morn and got to the land of the Shah. I knocked at his door and he shouted, come in. And he gave me a lovely cigar. We went to the harem and looked at his wives. They all smiled on me, it is true. So I turned to the shah and I said, Look here, old chap, I'm sure this is no place for you. You had better get straight into bed. I don't think you are wanted in here. He said, Do you mean it? I said, What do you think? You trot along quick and I'll buy you a drink. He said, You're a liberty taker, young man. I said, Run along, that's all right with your 300 wives to tuck me up in bed. I feel sore, I shall sleep well tonight. I was once out of work, so a pal said to me, there's a job for the man that applies at an anarchist's house just to sleep there at night with good prospects of getting a rise. I slept there for months till the police made a raid. One night and as they had come to stay, the boss said to me, I shall blow up the house. So to keep their suspicions at bay, you'd better get straight into bed. Be as careful as careful can be, but don't oversleep for whatever you do, as the bomb's fixed to go off exactly at two. It's under your bed, so I think you're quite safe, but for goodness sake, don't strike a light. Find the time out by feeling the hands on your watch. I said, thanks, I shall sleep well tonight.